I am a person who do not like to think that I wish I would have done that. Now this goals can be anything in next three months or six months or this entire year. Is it always about negativity, what they are missing in their life or how their current situation is? What is it? Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to talk about how do you have a winning mindset. Now what is a winning mindset? And what do I mean by winning mindset? Basically, I'm a person who will not do things just because the whole world is telling me. I'm a person, if there is a thought that is coming in my mind and it's repeating again and again, I would want to do no matter how difficult it is. I am a person who do not like to think that I wish I would have done that. I don't want to be at my 60 years of age and think I wish I would have achieved that. I wish I would have taken that leap of faith. I wish I would have gone to this another country or I would have spoken to my parents and followed my hobbies or I would have traveled the world or I would have uh, fought for my girlfriend or whatever it is, right? I don't like to have that particular statement or thought process in my mind that says I wish I would have done that because I believe there is one life and we have to do things that we really like and we really enjoy the whole purpose of this life is to be happy and if there's anything in this world that can give you that happiness then you have to fight for it and fighting for it consistently and not getting carried away not losing not giving up is something that contributes to a winning mindset now i know it is not easy i know it is very difficult and i know you feel that it is impossible but with all this noise all this negativity still how can you have a winning mindset i'm going to help you with that and in this particular channel we talk about how do you upgrade your life how do you get your dream job? And we also talk about in case if you want to come to Germany, then how do you move to Germany as well? So this whole thing, all of these things are interrelated to each other. So in this video, we are going to, I'm going to give you some practical examples on how can you have a winning mindset and not focus on the uh, failures, rather fo focus on the positivity. So let's get started. The first thing that you can do is you should have a clear goals. You have to define certain clear goals for yourself. Say it could be short term goals or long term goals. Now, usually I'm not a person who can do a long term planning, but at least having some short term goals is important. Now, either if you are a very undisciplined person and you uh, keep forgetting your goals, then you should definitely write it in a book and you have or you have to set some calendar reminders and you have to you know set those goals now these goals can be anything in next three months or six months or this entire year basically i do not write it in a diary or do i do not uh, usually have the reminders but in my back of my mind i know i'm very honest to myself i know that i these are the big high level things i want to achieve this year and then I knowingly or unknowingly, my mind is doing those actions that are taking me towards those goals. But in case if I do not have clear goals, then I'm going here, I'm going there. And you know, I am uh, wasting a lot of time. So setting clear goals is very important. Ask yourself, what are these two things that you would want to achieve this year in your life? And or in next three months or six months or eight months and write it down and have that clear vision for you. Then once you have that clear goal, then comes the next step where we work towards the goal. But if you do not have a goal itself, then you don't know where you're going. And when you do not have a destiny, then it can just take you anywhere. I will tell you today, let's uh, play tennis. You will play tennis. Somebody else will come and say, why don't you be a musician? And then you will be a musician. Or somebody else will say, oh, nowadays marketing is a big skill. Why don't you do marketing? And then that is going to be your goal, right? I can understand if you are young and you do not know what you want to do, then you want to try different things. That is okay. That is completely fine. But what I'm trying to tell you is have your broader goal. Do not try to have such minute goals, but have a broader goal that I will learn some skill this year or I will want to change my job this year or I will change my place this year. Have some back of your mind, have some goals 
and then work towards your goal. That is the first step, having clear goals. Now that you have your clear goals, now what you need to do is you're working towards those goals, but you're getting failures and failures. But you have to consciously try not to focus on the failures. You have to try on the solutions. Okay, you have you, you have two options here. You can be two versions of yourself. If suppose you are stuck with a problem, either you can tell yourself, oh my God, this is my life. You can feel pity for yourself and you can sit like this and keep blaming the world, keep blaming God, keep blaming universe or people around you because you're stuck in the problem and then waste next few weeks and months just thinking about why is this happening with you? Or you can be a second version of yourself where you can focus on solutions. Okay, you have got a problem. Okay, this is a road blocker. What can be a solution? Think about a practical solution to solve that problem. Do not take any failure personally to your heart. That is when the issue happens. When you take things to your heart, when you get too emotionally attached to it, be very, very practical about it. You are doing this because you want to achieve a goal. Say, I'll give you a very easy example. Your goal is that you want to date somebody, you want to fall in love with somebody or you want to find a partner in your life. Now you go on the dating apps and you try to meet people and then you meet people and it's not a great date every time. Or people keep uh, breaking your heart in some or the other way and then you uh, keep getting sad and uh, very, very sad about it, right? The reason why you're sad is because you have a goal that you want to be in a relationship and you keep meeting people that are not in line with your thoughts and then you feel sad about it. Now handle this situation more practically. The practical solution to the situation is, okay, this is a roadblock. What is the next solution? Maybe this thing did not work. And also try to introspect. Why does this, uh, this thing did not work? Or why this person was not right for me? And then the next person that you're going to talk to, you're going to make sure that that person is different from this person. Because you do not want the same thing to happen to you again. So you have to learn from that experience and you have to move on and you have to solve that particular problem and go to a solution. And the solution is not giving up the process and saying, oh, I don't know, I can never find somebody, maybe. That's not the solution. That is giving up. The solution is you go on, you try again, but this time with much more experience and with much more clarity with what you want. So the whole idea is, you have to focus on solutions. You do not have to focus on problems. And one thing that I see so commonly in people when I talk to them is they are into self-pity. There's so many people who keep thinking, oh my God, why this is happening with me? Why my life is so difficult? Why, uh, why I don't get the happiness? Why I don't have the money? Why I don't have the right job? Why I don't have the right boss? Trust me, please look around you. Nobody's life is perfect. Everybody is going through something or the other. And everybody is uh, facing their own challenges. You can either sit here, waste your days and months just crying about your situation. Or you can be a person who can get up and find a solution and go to the next thing right so stop feeling self-pity for yourself the reason why this problem is coming in your life is to make you much more stronger and to show you your true potential only when you start handling your problems you will understand what is your true potential what are you meant for unless you face that problems you will not know what are you meant for so stop feeling self-pity and go on to the next solution next step would be how do you handle failures you have to handle failures as feedback going forward you're not going to say this is a failure for me i failed in this task this did not happen you are going to say i got this feedback from this experience or from this task this is a feedback for me this is not my failure this is my feedback that's the thought process that you're going to have in your mind. So anything, anytime that did not work according to your, your goal or your thought process, you are going to take the feedback from that experience 
and then in your next step you are going to inculcate that feedback and then you are going to move forward but basically in general you are going to replace the word failure in your life with feedback because every failure is a feedback so make sure you do not get carried away with the failure as fit you concentrate on what have you learned from that failure and how do you move on with that feedback so failure equals to feedback that you have to be positive and you have to have a positive mindset now from where do you get this positivity you get this positivity from the people around you it is very rightly said the next 5 years of your life is going to be defined by the five people who are there in your life right now with whom do you interact the most look around your circle and see this five people that you talk to most in your life it could be your friends it could be your family it could be your colleagues it could be your neighbors it could be anybody the top five people that you talk to uh, most in your life and your next five years is going to be defined by them and think about what are they talking about is it always about negativity what they are missing in their life or how their current situation is what is it or is it something positive you talk to somebody and somebody is giving you uh, some idea somebody is talking about a startup idea or they are giving you some feedback on how do you take care of your health or how do you uplift your life what is it that is that the main conversation that happens in your 24 hours just try to reflect and understand is it the positive conversation that's happening in your life or is it the negative conversation the news that you are reading is it negative positive the instagram reels that you are having whenever you pick up your phone what what is it that you're seeing negative positive the people that you are talking to the feeling that you are getting in your entire day negative uh, positive if you are getting negative feeling that tells you that you are surrounded with negativity you are surrounded with people who are negative and that is not going to help you achieve what you want to achieve and if you want to achieve something then you need to surround yourself with the positive people say for example if you want to achieve a role of a manager and if you are uh, still talking to people in office your colleagues who are telling you that or oh, this this role is pathetic all the managers are not nice here and how you should work less and how you should just come to office and skip things and not attend meetings but your aspiration is to become a manager but everybody around you is giving you ideas of how do you work less and when that is an idea that's coming in your mind and that is what you're doing how will you achieve that however if you are in a group and that group everybody is an overachiever somebody has achieved the team leader role in 6 months somebody a manager role in 2 uh, years and everybody in the group is overachiever you will start thinking oh my god what do i do how do i achieve everybody here has done something or the other and that's exactly what i'm trying to tell you be in a group that makes you think that you have to look up to this person not be in a group that pulls your energy down so be with positive people read positive news talk to positive uh, people be in positive environment even the youtube videos that you are watching make sure you are watching videos that spread some positivity in your life and nothing negative that's how you are going to get a winning mindset next very important thing is take action i can talk as much as i want to i can try to pep you up i can talk about all the positivity i can even give you an action plan i can also give you tools and books and uh, exercises and everything but if you're still lying down if you're still lazy if you're still procrastinating then nothing is going to happen if you do not take an action nothing is going to happen let me give you a small example here if you feel hungry you have to go ahead and get the food on your plate and eat it it is related to the action if you do not take that action how will you eat food 
and how will you stop feeling hungry everything is related to action you can watch as many things as you want but if you do not take action nothing is going to change in your life so if you want a winning mindset you have to take action from today every day small little thing don't take big actions take small small little thing and one action can also be like every day 15 minutes i will go ahead and spend in researching about this topic if there's something that you want to achieve just 15 minutes every day you will do a research or just 15 minutes every day i will go for a walk if you want to reduce weight so you have to take action and small start with small actions don't start with a bigger action and that's when you're going to get to overwhelm then you're going to give up everything so small actions but take actions every day the next thing is you have to look for growth opportunities if you want to win if you want to grow you have to look for growth opportunities where can i do more what is a missing piece here how can i grow myself how can i learn myself you are also you have to always keep thinking about growing and you should never think about oh i do not want to grow oh i am too lazy and i have a perfect life right now and things like that that's not a winning mindset that's called being comfortable in your current state and if you are in your comfort zone and if you are loving your comfort zone then that's best but then stop telling and stop cribbing about the fact that you are living a mediocre life or you are not happy with your life the reason why you're not happy with your life is because you are too comfortable in your life right now and if you want to have a different version of your life then you have to take some steps you have to look for growth opportunities and you have to get into those growth opportunities and work towards it so you have to get out of your comfort zone and look for more growth opportunities in case if you want to grow and have a winning mindset i hope that helps so these are few tips that can help you get out of your current state achieve your dreams keep going keep drilling yourself and one day you are going to be so super proud of yourself that you went ahead and took that leap of faith dedication and hard work and you have achieved what you want to achieve so do not do not be hard on yourself do self reflection see what is happening around you see what is happening around the day and you will get your own answers if you are still stuck and you do not know what you need to do and how do you get out of your current situation you can talk to me i'm going to give you a very honest and a very transparent feedback of your current situation and maybe i can help you with some tools and some activities that can that can help you take you out from your current situation and help you achieve your goals the whole purpose of this channel is to help you achieve your goals and make you live the life that you want to live it's the life upgrade that you want in your current situation i hope you like my videos please mention in the comment section that keeps motivating me as well and i'll see you again please subscribe to my channel and share if you like what i'm doing thank you so much i hope i hope you are having a great day bye